State University, they started to suggest that there could be an important link between the two. In a study of over 15,000 women suspected of having performed regular fellatio and swallowed the ejaculatory fluid, over the past 10 years, the researchers found that those actually having performed the act regularly, one or two times a week, had a lower, a lower occurrence of breast cancer than those who had not. Once again, let me say that again. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Doctors found that those actually having performed the act of regularly fellatio one to two times a week had a lower occurrence of breast cancer than those who had not. So ladies, get your game up. Sorry, don't mean to be disrespectful or whatever. However, we're trying to keep everybody healthy. And breast cancer is like the leading killer of women in America right now. So, so okay. That being said, that is excellent to hear. And it's very good to know. So, fellas, if you would like to make sure that your lady is healthy and is around and be with you for a long, long time, make sure that you do not slack on the supply of ejaculatory excrement. She needs that in her diet, okay? In her diet. That is vitamins that are very, very critical. At least once to twice today. Just, just, a uh, week. just two times a week. Uh, I mean, now, if she want to be really healthy <laughs> and really just, you know, really just go for it, then, you know, by all means. Every day is good. Fellas, this is coming from CNN.com. Hey, this is real. Slash swallow Ain't if you do need. And this that's not, I mean, it sounds funny, but it's not even a joke. It's, it's literally CNN.com slash swallow. You can go in there and you can read the uh, the article for yourself and get the rest of the, the information. But uh, we just nutshell wrapped it for you. And that was no pun intended. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Nutshell wrapped it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. So uh, let's get let's get an opinion on that real quick. Lucy, how you feel about that there? Twice a week? Twice a week? That's not a lot. I don't know. I don't think most women, well, maybe, if they're really health conscious. Just twice a week seems I mean, like a breast lot. cancer like, is out there, man. It, is. it seems like a lot. Number one killer like, of women in America. Someone you know you've been dating a while, twice a week. Yeah. I don't know. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh. Twice a week sounds kind of low to me. Prof, how you feel about twice a week? Is that, is that a lot or is that... That's actually not as much as you would <laughs> actually expect it to be. Now, I could see if they was like three to four times a day. Now, that's... Well, <laughs> no, well no, this is what I'm saying, though. They say, okay, okay. They say to to uh, to uh, in, ingest the, the fluids twice a week. You can practice the fellatio as often as, as often needed. As often as needed. I mean, but, get pro at it. I mean, you know, sometimes you might need to, you, you might need to, you know, get used to the 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 way it feels. Yeah, going down. I understand. So, that. I mean, you know, maybe you might have to get it in a couple more times a week than most folks. And I do know this. It, it wasn't in that part that we read, but later on in the article, it, it does say that you know what I'm saying. For fellas to go on ahead and like, if you eat like some candy and such, it does make it sweeter. Okay, so okay. I don't I have. Like fruits and vegetables. Look at vegetables. Fruits and vegetables don't drink coffee. That's what I remember. Fruits and vegetables That's don't drink what, coffee. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, from what I hear, look, it says. This, now, now, this is a direct quote from Dr. A.J. Kramer of Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. What's good, A.J.? I think it removes the last shade of doubt that fellatio is actually a healthy act. Yes. No more doubt. No more doubt. <laughs> this is from Dr. A.J. Kramer of Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, who was not involved in that research. And he is excellent at what he does. And he was also says... He was, oh, he was not. He, said, he says, I am surprised by these findings, but am also excited 
I am excited as well. Me too. <laughs> now, you do know that that research was actually conducted by a woman. Look at you. Well, dig down there somewhere. We'll find her name. Hey, just but, say uh, something about Danny Rivera. Dr. Lynn Litchpin, Deputy Chief Medical Officer for the American Cancer Society, said women should not overlook or play down these findings. This is a woman that says this, okay? This is Dr. Lynn. Yeah, that, that entire search, was, I mean, the entire study was conducted by a woman. It started with her and her husband, but I mean, 15,000 women, I mean, it's a lot. So, and I'm upset that no one informed me that scientific research that could aid and benefit everyone was being conducted. You know, because I do what I can for science except for donating my body parts. 762-9725. It's your boy, Diz Dominion, Lucy Lou, Mr. Prophecy. We all up in the building. Prof on the ones and twos. What you got for him, Pimpin'? Uh, you know, right now I'm gonna bring out this new little single I just recently heard this morning by your boy Young Money featuring Drake, Tiger, and and a whole slew of other folks. Well, let's go. This Dominion Show, 762-9725, my bad. I'm just excited about what we're talking about today. The topic got me going. We're talking about fellatio and the medical benefits, man. Hit us up, man. Let me know what you're thinking. I need to hit us up, man. We need y'all opinion on this, 762-9725. Got that track? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's popping up. How loud? You know, you know we're a tad bit slow right now. Oh, man. You know, it's like, get them little itty-bitty straws for, man. Get them little straws. Hold on. I got this one on camera. This one on, on the YouTube feed. Get them little itty-bitty straws, man. Big old man on itty-bitty straws, man. What's that all about? He's supposed to be